Hello baseball fans, hope everybody's doing well out there, staying safe. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do so. Really appreciate your support. We're going to have some awesome prizes coming down the line for subscribers. You'll get notified when great content comes out, and I'm really counting on you. So hit subscribe if you can. So today I thought we could talk about Blue Jays trade chips. That's right, which Blue Jays might be wearing a different colored uniform for another team come August. And I think the Jays are going to approach the trade deadline a little bit differently this year. Over the last two seasons, we've traded away two of our number one picks in Austin Martin and Gunnar Hogland to get Jose Barrios and Matt Chapman, respectively. So we really don't have that depth to deal. Outside of Elvis Martinez, we also don't have that big star that could net us a huge return. One player from the minors, though, that I could see being dealt or being uh, packaged with somebody else is Jordan Groshans. Now, Jordan's been around the minors for a little bit of time now. He's a little bit older on that scale. And that reason is just he's been hit with injury after injury. Nothing that's been too uh, horrific, but certainly injuries that have slowed him down. And that's happened again this season. He started off with an oblique injury, but he has rebounded really nice from that injury. He's batting 285 down in the minors, one home run, 16 ribbies. And he's got a big frame, so there's some good, strong attributes there. And I could see some teams being interested in him. Maybe he gets packaged with somebody. Maybe he gets dealt for some bullpen help. On the other side, though, I could definitely see us trading from our roster. One of our everyday 25-man uh, players. And let's talk with somebody who could get us the least return. And I'm not saying he's the least player, but he's certainly a little bit underwhelming this year. And that's Calvin Vigio. He has an average of 200, one home run, nine RBIs, dealing with some injuries this year, dealt with injuries last year. So we're not going to get as much back on him that we could if we let him play a little bit longer. But with Espinal playing as awesome as he is, I don't see Kevin Biggio getting back the second base job anytime soon. And to be frank, Espinal really deserves to be there. So I could see Kevin Biggio getting traded out or packaged with somebody else. Now, some players on the higher end scale that could definitely get us a bigger return. The first one is Lourdes Gurriel Jr. And why do I say Lourdes? He's one of those players, he's certainly significant to the Blue Jays lineup, but he's somebody that if he did get traded out for a big return or to add to a big return, it wouldn't impact the Jays lineup too significantly. He's having a great year. He's consistent from last year as well. And this year he's batting 275. Four home runs, 29 ribbies right now. And another nice thing about Loris is he can play all over the uh, outfield and the infield. So there's some teams that are going to look at him like maybe a younger, more dynamic version of DJ LeMayhew. And somebody could, that definitely could get us a nice return. Now, two players that I do see, one of them getting traded. And it's going to be from our catching platoon. And no, it's not Danny Jansen. It's either going to be Alejandro Kurt or Gabriel Moreno. And I know people might be thinking, geez, they're two great players. It's scary to lose one of them. That's just how baseball goes. And the Jays are actually in a great position to have such an influx of catching right now and good catching. Catching's a premium position. And if these guys go, one of these two guys, I should say, we better be getting a huge return. And let's quickly just look at Alejandro Kirk. The guy's number one in MVP voting for his position for the All-Star. He's having an amazing year. Right now he's batting 304, 7 home runs, 24 ribbies. I know this vlog's a little bit outdated probably by the time it airs, so he's probably doing even better than that. In fact, he's batting so well this season, he's batting behind Guerrero as insurance. So pitchers are actually pitching to Guerrero because they know they have to face Kirk next. This is a good thing. And if Kirk does get traded, it better be a huge return. Somebody even bigger and better than Jose Barrios. On the flip side of that, if we do retain Kurt, probably means Gabriel Moreno's on his way out. Now, to be fair to Moreno, I've only seen him play seven games, but he has been dynamic. He's as advertised, batting 375, four ribbies already. This guy can hit, and he also has an amazing arm defensively. One of the best, stronger, strongest defensive arms that the Jays have had behind the plate in a long time. So I could see some reluctance to trade Moreno, but it's going to be one or the other. And who is it going to be? Let me know in the comments below what you think. 
Either way, at the end of the day, one thing I can assure you is Danny Jansen's not going anywhere. He's going to be the backup for either Kirk or Moreno moving forward. Be interesting to see what type of package we could get for somebody like Gabriel Moreno coupled with maybe Kevin Biggio. That better be a big return. Who do you think it could be? Anyways, appreciate you guys listening to me ramble on today. Leave your comments below. Hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. And look forward to talking to you guys soon. Take care out there, everybody.